Okay, so before I open it up, just take a closer look. We've got the logo. This is the front of the amp uh, with our speaker grates, and then it's got uh, ho openings on the top and on the sides. So um, if you are recording or, or playing with this, you have a, a few different miking options. You can mic it from the front, um, and when we do our sound demo, I've got 57 set up on, on both sides of the amp uh, so we can get the stereo effect. All right, and then I went ahead and I turned it around here uh, so we can just take a look at uh, the ins and outs. So right here is the uh, the input uh, for the guitar. We've got an input for a microphone, so we can actually um, ha uh, you know plug a microphone in and sing through it or, or some other kind of effect through it. And uh, you can actually have the guitar and the microphone hooked up at the same time. And line out, uh, there's an internal dynamic microphone which allows uh, you to go directly into a PA or your, your interface uh, for recording. Uh, we'll, we'll listen to what the sound uh, is for that. The foot switch for, uh, that controls the speed. Um, obviously power over here on and off and the power plug. Okay, so to open this up, uh, we have to take screws off um, and we have to take uh, the corner pieces off. So there's two screws on each corner piece. There's two screws um, on each side, um, although mine is missing these two. And then there are screws uh, in the middle. Uh, there's supposed to be three. Uh, I'm missing one there too. So it's just gonna take me a, a minute to uh, get these all unscrewed and we'll take the bottom off. Okay, so I've got the bottom off here and um, so uh, this is the drum up here. So this is actually what spins uh, around and sends the sound out. And then down here, you've got the, the speaker. This is my reverb tank. And one thing I noticed is it's not in the right place. It's supposed to be up here. I don't know if it was supposed to be screwed in. This foam has some like stickiness. So maybe it's supposed to be stuck there. So that's something I'm gonna have to look at uh, fixing. Uh, you can see the transformer, and, and way back there, it's hard to see, but there's the tube for the two pre preamp. This has a 12 AX7 tube uh, preamp built into it, so you can get some tube tones. Um, so that's that's way uh, back there. There is actually a tube. I'm going to turn this on real quick. Uh, all right, so you can see I get it powered on, and I've got the uh, foot switch down here that controls all of this. So uh, the way it works, it's got a stop button and it's got the speed button. So uh, one known issue uh, with this amp is that uh, there's a, uh, a, a power issue with the, the motor um, that can be corrected, but basically uh, uh, when it's stopped, it doesn't fully stop uh, until you get that fixed. So that, that could definitely be a problem uh, for some people, you know, that this is kind of always moving a little bit, which is gonna change the sound, giving you a very, you know, kind of low phase. Uh, stop is on, you can sort of see the red light. And speed, when this red light is on, it's in fast mode versus slow mode. So to make it go, you know, to slow mode, you turn off stop, and now it's spinning at the slow rate that I have it set at. Um, which is adjustable, and we'll look at that. And then when I click the speed button to turn on the fast speed, then it goes even faster, and you can see it accelerates. So that is uh, the drum that's built in here uh, that is uh, making the rotary effect. We'll do a quick overview of the amp settings. Um, I've got my Strat, I've got Seymour Duncan, P rails, which I'm going to use in humbucker mode, uh, and then I've got an SM57 on each side of the amp fans hard right, so you can get that stereo effect from the rotary. And then, uh, okay, so here's just kind of what the amp sounds neutral. <laughs> Way louder than, you know, I 
need for my room here. Um, and then, you know, your your bass and treble controls, which perform exactly as you expect. <laughs> sounds like uh, we'll go, you know, just a little to full gain. And then uh, the, uh, the gain also has a, a contour knob, so you can adjust uh, the amount of highs or lows that are going into the tube, um, which is going to, you know, affect uh, the way it responds, you know, where you're playing on the neck of your guitar. <laughs> Thank you. 
last speed. So I'm going to just set the slow in kind of the, the middle position. Um, and then we'll turn the fast down and do the same thing where we speed it up. Thank you. 